Each fall, as the leaves change color and the temperature drops, members of the Bertner family gather on their ranch in the Texas Hill Country. From three-year-old Kyler to 98-year-old Mabel, five generations under one roof together to celebrate Thanksgiving. making four hundred dollars a month and trying to raise three boys we didn't have any money to go all over the country to make for on vacation so we'd come up here and fish and build deer stands and stuff getting ready for fall hunting preparing for the hunt for skeet bergner it's a ritual that dates back to his boyhood growing up during the great depression when food like deer and turkey meat helps sustain the family during some very tough times. Hey, let me see. Today, the Berkners hunt and fish as part of a legacy. That's not real either. No, that's a cap gun. Passed down from parent to child. Hunter safety, hunter safety, baby. Don't point it at people. There you go. It's okay. To understand the Berkners and their ties to the land, it helps to know a little bit about their history, starting with Skeet's mother, 98-year-old Mabel. Mabel Green was the only girl out of nine children. Her parents were farmers in the hill country of central Texas. To earn money, the family raised cotton and corn. To eat, they hunted and grew their own vegetables. When she was 19, Mabel married Joe Bergner. Together, they raised 10 kids and ran a 400-acre dairy farm. Each child played an important role in the family business, and all of them learned the meaning of hard work. Used to milk 150 head of cows twice a day, get up 12 o'clock at night, 12 o'clock in the daytime, milk cows seven days a week. And uh, that's all I know is land. To need to be able to shoot from a lot of different positions. And do your breathing, OK? I am one of the Berkners, but not one of the hunting Berkners. Uh, so there was a, a little bit of adjustment on the part of the family to me and, and me to the family. But look where um, you want the arrow to go. You know, with hunting, like everything else that the Berkners do, there's a real underpinning of family feeling and loyalty. And they're not judgmental about it. I'm getting closer and closer. Mm -hmm. They have a very strong hunting ethos, and so they, they wanted me to respect that in them. This is my last one. <coughs> one more. And not to be judgmental of them and to be tolerant of what they like to do. And, and they afforded me the same respect uh, for my feelings. Watch where you're pointing. Point it at the target. Okay, grandmother. Happy hunting. Yeah, we we fixed we fixed to go after them. I appreciate you helping me. I know I've struggled to you. I got it. Mabel Berkner shot her first deer at about the same time Charles Lindbergh crossed the Atlantic, and the women got the right to vote. Whatever comes in, the first thing that comes in, a buck or a doe, that's what we want. We're not taking a chance on waiting for the big one. When you get 98 years old, you don't wait for something. You just go ahead and do it. And I think 
think it's wonderful. I enjoy this. I'd stay here by myself. Oh, you would? Mm -hmm. We'll just sit here and enjoy these pretty trees. Sure will. Yeah. Now you see what, what we're looking at. We're looking at, at three three deer down there. And uh, what I want you to do is shoot the one on this side, that, that biggest one. Take your time, put your crosshairs on him and shoot him. Squeeze it easy. Oh, I think you hit him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Leave you hidden. Okay. Did you see that deer this morning sitting in the back of the mule? Yeah. You know, I haven't been hunting in about nine or ten years, but I never killed them? anything that can big. Can you count them? I can count them. Let's see. There's one, two, three on that side. And then on this side, there's one little one. So that's four, five, six, seven. Yep, so that's, that's a seven point. In a few hours, most of the Berkners will go their separate ways. But no matter where they end up, all roads lead back here to the family ranch. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this season of the year, for Thanksgiving and for such a beautiful scene in the trees and the river and the grass and we thank you for a wonderful hunt this morning and for grandmother and all the kids amen grandma can you remember any times that you've missed i don't talk about that <laughs>